automating and preventing manual labor mistakes, like configuration issues that might happen by a human, for example, configuring a machine. I I'm just curious in this process, one of the byproducts of automating that onboarding is that you're standardizing the image that gets applied to the unit and it's repeated across every unit that gets onboarded into the platform. Was that a corollary benefit is that you flushed out some issues that may have been caused either by a bad configuration that happened through manual entry errors or configuration drift even that happened just as the machine started to operate. One of the best stories that I have around that, we had a series of devices that went out. This was for a, a very large customer of ours that had ordered a whole fleet of kiosks for their self-storage facilities. We were doing a batch of them. There was probably about 20 or 30 of them getting ready to go out. And when they would get to the facility, we have a two-way video live help feature. So a person using the kiosk to hit a button and have a two-way video phone call with somebody in an office. And that wasn't working. And we were getting call after call after call. We were troubleshooting with the technicians on site that were installing it. We were working with our internal teams, just trying to figure out what happened. After probably a couple of hours, because we were thinking just a little bit too big about it, we went and checked the configuration file that gets set up at the time of manufacturing. And what we realized was the person that was doing that configuration, they were copying and pasting out of a Microsoft Teams message or a Teams file, and then part of the message from Teams copied and pasted into that configuration. So, you know, it's it's funny now. It wasn't funny at the time. We were all a little, we, we were all a little uh, perplexed as to how that could have happened, but Going back to taking the human element out of processes, that, that's a big example. It's a poor experience for the end customer. It's a poor experience for their local technicians, people who are trying to make sure that are adopting the technology and have an easy time installing it because they may have to do a few hundred more as well as a lot of frustration from the onboarding and the development and our leadership teams, because we did spend quite a bit of time chasing down what was going on. So I think that automated processes, especially processes where somebody has to touch it every single time, do the exact same thing over and over and over, it's a no brainer to make sure that you can work that solution into your kind of day to day with whatever devices you have uh, in order to not That's great, thank you. Yeah.